I'm going out of gloves.
Good evening. How is everyone? I printed off some impossibly small hex. I think it's too small to get all the weeding out of it. I'll try. Ashley, Duncan, Aaron, Matt, Rob, Joe, Tim, right? We shall call tonight's feed run out of gloves. There we are. I was wondering what title to call it. Obviously I wash my hands well before I come out. Then that's gonna take ages to get off. <laughs> Wipe it away if you don't like it. I mean, that's tiny, yeah, that's tiny hex. I 
problem is now I'm going to find these tiny little hexes absolutely everywhere. And in the weird places. Both these guns are desperate for a rebuild. I feel like my RC car. You can't see that on the camera, but that's actually a very reasonable hex. I think I've just gone so small the camera can't cope with it. I've got a larger one on the bonnet there, which is the reason I'm late, because I struggled with it. It didn't go how I wanted it to, so I've made it look grungy. It's a technical term for meh. This is my Iwata Eclipse HPCS. Past 500 paint jobs with that one now. And then this is my more recent um, Sparmax Max 3, which I think is becoming a, a firm favourite of mine because it's Absolutely bulletproof. I also have a um, Harder and Steinbeck, Ooh, which nearly leaked all over that. Infinity CS. But I'm not going to use that this evening. Giving that a night off using that the other night. Can't see that yet.
must be the moist temperature tonight. I'm really having trouble with things sticking. So I'm now using this off this um, cheaper um, low tack tape mask. Doesn't seem to want to stick. that it fits. It's almost like I measured it. <clears throat> if it sticks. I've well, then got to weed out the bits that haven't fallen out already. You can weed it beforehand but I find I end up damaging it more than from weeding it after it's I'm only using it once or twice, so I don't really care for it sticking more than the times I need it to. So I'll just print another one. This is about as small as I can print. Sorry, cut. I ran out of gloves, dude. Strangely, there's a, there's a pandemic on, and actually, no, that's a lie. I just forget to keep keep forget. I've been so busy, I forget to buy them. Yeah, again.
So because this is so thin, I'm going to build this up really slowly. So I don't, shouldn't get too much bleed underneath it, hopefully. And this should look crisp as. She says. Happy with that. How is everyone? Everyone good? I'm coping better now the weather's temperature's dropped a bit, which is nice. The Iwata is a uh, slightly larger needle. Strangely, it needs more PSI than the Barmet. put a slight curve on the lower part of the grill and then a sharper point in the corners I think it actually suits it quite nicely evolution of design isn't it sorry isn't it
See, so find those little hexes everywhere. Look, there's one. There's one. There's one. I made a boo boo. I didn't turn the PSI back down. It's a lot harder than it should have been. getting all organized I've got a little rack going on now and I've got two different heights so I can see well I can't really see them they've, they've all, and then I've got I still got to organize the other ones but I'm kind of getting a bit neater now I have a habit of leaving guns with a um, reducer in cleaner and then just leave until I next use them. And you can't do that with, with this particular gun. Just give it a proper deep clean. And I haven't got time. So I have to take, I have to take this one apart and do it properly. Let's check. 
it must be used there. Right, so if you put that away and learn a lesson. So, which one am I going to use? So, a bit of cleaner, not a lot. Paintbrush, wiggle it about a bit. Give it a couple of seconds. You get paint on everything. Wiggle it about some more. Put a cap on before you put your finger on the end. Bog wash it. Spit cup. Bit of tissue. Repeat. All this for a colour change. You don't get all the, the darkest, obviously black's the darkest colour I've got. And if you leave any of it in the gun, the next colour will ruin the shade. So now I'm going to reuse what I've got left in that, put it in that, keep that fresh. Give that a good clean tomorrow. Now, literally, three drops. One, two, three. That's enough. It's more than enough, it's too much. <laughs> And then you're back with the red with white to make it brighter. And then where you've got the shading with the black should make the red stars stand out. I'm not a fan of doing brake lights, so I'm finding this actually quite fun doing like stars and stuff in it. Just find them. Ugh. Right, so the most, majority of the shell is blue, but that's the colour we're doing next. That's the next dark, it's the next darkest colour. So it's blue with some black shading in it. So now I've got to be careful not to pull all my pinstripes out because the pinstripes now are last with this new version of um, chrome I'm using. So I have to be careful not. And there's no easy way of doing this. It's just put your glasses on. Put it up 
Yeah, this one actually. The beauty of this liquid mask is it will go back down again. But it stretches ever so slightly. This is the um, not so glamorous side. There is such a thing as painting. If you want your designs to look sharp, you've got to get all your points pointing in the right direction. And then it's stuck down. the rest won't be as slow as that. That's just a really thick, picky corner where it's got lots, lots and lots of points all coming down into it. What TC have you got, Aaron? Paperweight type.
the problem. The more technical your designs get, the cleaner they've got to look and the more time they take. Colin, did you make all the parts for your MTC conversion? Or did you buy them? Did you get someone to make them for you? Very neat. takes a while but it's worth it well hopefully it's worth it
Have you made a few kits then? Is that the idea? So this is the web, the web, what's it, what's, what's, what's your, what's your tuning name? You need to have a tuning name, like web designs. aircon on I've got it down a couple of degrees and the liquid mask is, is seems to be a bit easier to peel or am I I don't know if I'm just thinking that because I've been staring at it now for too long So see, see, Dave, is that, you should play on the, the, the on the on your on your surname and, and make something up with web. I suppose you've heard them all at school, though, all the sort of nicknames for web. Could be something Spider-Man orientated, couldn't it? Like sticky something fingers. I suppose web design does, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm not smart enough to have an a, a, a CNC router. It just, that just looks like disaster ready to happen, that does. I would like to get myself a better printer cutter for cutting out masks. Although I seem to have finally got the hang of the, the little program I've got for it. But I want to start doing crash helmet paint jobs. Um, I don't necessarily need a bigger one because I can do it in sections. 
I need some lessons really rather than spending money on bits of bob that I don't actually need. Because my computer skills are limited. God, that was starting to stress me out. Oof. I bet they make great video, didn't they? Mikey, if you're watching, probably not. So I'm using a little bit of reducer to clean off my pen lines on the outside so I can now see if anything's lifted. beauty also is you can use your tweezers to tidy up any boat bleeds that you've got through as well. So a little bit of a tidy up. These are the, the best underrated bit of kit you can get as a pair of tweezers. So, a brand new bottle of Detail Black. Always sprays really nicely when it's a brand new one. Obviously I'll put a marble in there. And what I'm also going to add is a tiny bit of 4012. I literally blob, blob, blob. Then bottom of a paintbrush. take the guard off also for sharper lines.
you know it's a silly game, stickers as well. So that's green. These are blue. That's blue. I can't shave that because it's in the door, and I can't shave that one and that one. Yeah.
So I don't want to stop on mine, so I just lock my finger. Probably that's really tricky, but I'm kind of just used to doing it. Oh, badly. See, I'm, I'm actually, I haven't got my elbow on the table, but I've got my arm pivoting on the edge of the table. I've got a nice movement. Trying to make sure I get the same left to right. So I'm getting the taking the needle nearer the artwork and I'm then going back on the on the mount the paint at the same time so I'm getting a much finer shelf alone. Look how nice and sharp those two. Now I'm pivoting from the elbow. It's much easier for me to have something grounded on the table.
so this section here is green. This section here is green. This is blue. That's what we're doing next. So blue. One of the I find one of the nicest colours is the blue. Right, so I have a, a secondary cup of black that I've reduced. So I use as a just a spell. When I'm doing backing of a big colour or something like that, then I use that wrap up. It's just a waste just to get rid of it. Now right, change the colour again. about putting some super splitty technique in this but I decided not to. Remember, less is more. There's already enough going in on this. I don't need to put too much more. So I've set what you're looking at. It's already going to look bad enough. Blue. I really should have this in order. That's solid. Okay. Colour is blue, really nice. Especially the pale blue as well, gives a really nice effect. Taste by the way.
I'm trying to keep the weight down on this, so I don't know if I'm going to back it the coin yet, I haven't decided. Oh, I'm going to have to get this one out I'm going to decide I'm going to use a little bit of chrome purely because I don't want the green going into the blue and making a hot colour. So what we're doing, let's see that, green and blue we make a turquoise. I'm not sure that's right, but it's not what we're after. So a little bit of Fine. Expensive stuff. This is the water based one I've got. We've got some solvent based coin for later. enough to back it and to also stop colour change.
Traditionally now I would put a, a, a black to seal the crown. But I don't want to put the extra weight on the shelf. I know it's not a lot, but this little drums add up. I just noticed as well, because this chrome is a bit more watery, uh, because obviously it's water based, it's a lot, the viscosity of it's a lot thinner than the other paints, and so it's got underneath some of the pinch right where it's lifted. So I've got a little bit of tidying up to do when it comes to doing my pin stripes because there's, there's a bit I can see a bleed there and I can see a bleed here so I've got a little bit of tidying up to do it's good fun though isn't that right right so in theory that should just come out
I'm trying to think what to put in it. That's a nice angle. Um, Normally just flat aluminous screen, which looks flat. If you see the our tester, it's just a just a flat colour. I don't know if it would look kind of cool if I put some aluminous yellow in with it as well. If I put aluminous yellow there and there, and then bled the green into it. That might look quite cool. But I don't want to muck up colours that are pretty set. So I'll leave it. That's something I might suggest in the next one. If there's a next one. One thing I figured out is I put too much, uh, too many coats of aluminous on, of, sorry, neon, and it, it dulls the colours. So I'm going to see if I can put it on lighter, but it's getting a nice even coat. That's what I'm scared about, it's getting, making it look patchy. You can get it way thinner, way brighter, but it looks patchy. So I'd rather just go for block colour and, and uh, not be or sort of worried about it looking rubbish. So patches. If I try and put the same I didn't choose the colours, Colin, that's what I'm told.
Let's go. Well, I don't want to have ghost farts, you see, so that's the bit I could have had this last time. No, it's mostly just, this is all mostly white, but it's got a luminous green all the way around it, so I've just got to be pretty careful with it. They'll give you a fresh one then, Scott. What is that?
Okay, what was wrong with it? Did you figure it out, or was it just a swap? I'm struggling with the liquid mask tonight. I think I've put it on just a bit too thick, which is odd because this has never happened. But it's it's not adhering very well. I think because it hasn't properly cured, it's probably my own fault. Not blades, nothing. Give us a chocolate teapot. So, what are you going to use? Pliers. Might as well use hobby ones. Have there the fish in the hobby. Oh, well, Mr. Hobby, there's a thing you could do. There's not got fingerprints all over it. <laughs> well, no one's going to pinch my flies anymore. There's a needle all straight and everything like that. There's the paint. If you tried um, straining your paint, so to speak. Did it, did it do that with every colour? It isn't sticking very well. I don't understand why.
Obviously the art is not to stick is not to go too hard with the knife. So I'm really struggling how hard to push. This is more like trying to cut some blancmange or something. Or jelly. I'm trying to cut a straight line into jelly, there we go. It's not having it, it's not enjoying it. I'm not enjoying it. This is a bit rubbish to watch as well. I found with this this particular set I've got on now, I haven't been caught by the Facebook police yet. Yeah. I'd be very impressed if I had a nice sharp pinstripe around this front. This is causing me much of pain out. I've just put a new blade in and that's just not cutting. I'm 
Paint everything though, badly. Now, I've always struggled doing shading with neon. I won't do my neon impossible joke. I prefer to have the shell grounded when I'm doing fine fine detail.
したら自動ペアでの手を262 fluorescent hot green.
it normally falls off in an absolute second, so it's, I'm really struggling with this tonight. I've done a secondary window frame, which will show up much clearer once the overspray is off, and it's been back with white. So you've got a green inlay, and then a, gray, a black outer, all the way around. So that should look quite sharp. So it's just the, the white to do now, then the, I've got to tidy up the pinstripe, and then it's chrome. So at the moment the truth be, with how bad this pinstripe is around here, after we've removed all this, it's, it's looking a bit grumpy. We'll see. Not sure yet. I 
There's a bit more shading around this far end of the shell. I haven't got, I haven't got to yet. So the back end of the shell is peeling a lot better than the front. So I might have over edged the front edge. Apologies this has taken so long, I should have finished this by now. Sometimes you just get this, you just get one that's just a pass. Well, uh, I've got a meeting this weekend, Scott, so uh, it's not going as, as nice as I would like, I think it's a polite way of saying it. Now I've got to tidy up these, these points. Like I did on the top. I would have finished this shell, what we are now, with two hours 20, I should have finished by now. yet to do all the uh, the pinstripe that's easy that's easy now because everything else has been picked out but I've got to tidy up some bits on this a little bit ropey so now I want to do some green I've got green around the front 
really should do it around the back as well. Right. I was going to do this back edge, but where I've got the pinstripe for the window, I don't want to lose the effect, so I'm not going to shade that. I think it looks neater without it. Less is more. Right now, some clean tissue. Just trying to get rid of the, the more obvious ghost parts. I can see where it's 
it's built up a bit around this arch and it doesn't look very good. So I'm going to try and rub away as much as I can. Then apply a little bit of green to try and, because I, I've made some scratch marks into this now, which will show up massively when you put the white on.
So it's got all the pin straps that we need, which will give it, which will bring this right up. It's looking very flat at the moment.
This pinstripe is really frightening me tonight. Very painful. where all the time's gone in, in trying to make sure that this has all gone down neatly. Well, first of all you've got to draw it, and you've got to cut it, and you've got to peel it, paint round it. Got a couple of bleed marks I've got to sort out. but it's not as growly as I thought it was going to be. That's sort of, of a positive, I guess. How hot is Aruba at the moment? Kick my ass, that did. Kick me in the lid. Oh, I've got backache as well. Oh, it's not fun getting old and sitting in a stupid chair for too long. And I've got a, a, a draftsman's chair which raises me right up because obviously my bench is quite high up. And I think the piston in it is giving out, otherwise, I've got fat. Because it's it can't it can't hold me up like it used to, which is annoying. 
I think I've got fat. Just ask them the current Mrs. Basil if I've got fat or not. Right, so I'm trying to tidy up the pinstripe now, but try not to put too many little scratch marks in the Lexan because the mirror chrome I'm going to use kind of sticks and shows every scratch. So if you've got any cut lines where you cross your, your pinstripes together, you know when you cross over to do your, it shows them all up. So I try I try very hard not to cross my my sharp lines. Which also means they're an absolute bastard to pull out. So this chrome is going to really hopefully pull this together. This is the ground a bit. I've lost on, on this side, I've lost a point by about quite a lot actually, by about two uh, about a centimetre, about 10 mil. So the point's gone, which is a bit annoying.
has turned into a bit of a bitch, this show. Right, at least that's not throwing my eye now. I've now got the, them the same height. This hasn't turned out to be one of my better ones. Yeah, this one's kicking my ass a little bit, Scott. It's been catching my eye, I'm like, no, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's not right, that's wrong. I'm just being, I'm just being super fussy. So hopefully this will pull it back together. Thank <laughs> you. 
Right, and the clipper is, I've only got that much chrome left, which is like a tiny amount. So it might not be a case of this gets finished tonight. It might be a case this gets finished tomorrow when the rest of this... I don't know, 200 mil turning up tomorrow? It might be enough, I just don't know. Right, so this is solvent based. This is why this goes on last. I've got more turning up tomorrow. I always think I apply this too thickly anyway, so we'll see you soon. So this, this finish is definitely the quicker, this definitely makes the, uh, worth the smell and effort. I've got to look at it like stubbornly now and go, right, have I got enough on this to, to finish? The rich paint does say to not sometimes not to buff it. So let's have a look and see what it looks like without the heavy permanent marker on it. Right? 
see if I've got any glaring misses. Yeah, it does look so much better on the sides. In the mirror. Juicy stroke cleaner works very good at taking permanent marker off in places. Is prime them to be in. Look, there's none in it. I might scratch that back and redo that tomorrow. It's a bit, it doesn't look very neat here.
Also, this is permanent marker. Yeah, I ran out of gloves. That's a good tip, Richard. Thank you. I mean, I have a stationary shop, so I'll try that one. Well, I wouldn't probably go to so much effort to rub off the permanent, to, to rub the marker off, but I wanted to make sure that the pinstripe was uniform.
No, no, this is a this is a uh, Elliot Harper. It's, it's not a customer. It's a customer. But it's a sponsor, it's, uh, one of my sponsored drivers. This is why I'm trying to make sure I get it right. Well, most drivers are just going to see the back of it.
If I go too much on this, I'm going to end up ruining it. I think I'll have to set this one down for the experience. I think I've just got a little bit too much um, mask on the front. It stood stick and then it lifted and it's become a bit of a nightmare. Right, I think I finished. That picked my ass. You gave me a bad back. Onwards and upwards. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Whoever's still stubborn enough to be sitting there. Um, win some, you lose some. I didn't. Well, I haven't actually lost, but I don't. I it hasn't kind of left me in a very good sort of. I'm going to sleep well. I don't really care. Thankfully, though, I'll have plenty of goes at this design. This is just. He normally has them in twos. This is just a, uh, a quick one he wanted for this weekend. So, thank you very much for watching. Good night, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Something in that order. <laughs>